long time no see it's me for my newbies it's mariah imani today is the day of my shoot for harris and teeter and i will be just like taking you guys through a bit of my day so you guys know what to expect when we go on set i have a evening shoot so i'm kind of trying to play around with my sleep pattern right now i want to just lounge around before I head out, because I think I might be out till probably like four or five o'clock this morning. So we'll see. But bye, guys. Okay, so first things first, please confuse. Well, not confuse. <laughs> I was about to say, please confuse. Please excuse the background noise. I am on my way to the shoot location. I just was going to give you guys, um, I guess, like some what to expect things really quick before I get there. So, with us still being in the pandemic, you are required to COVID test. Also, um, before I got booked for this, casting wanted to know if I was fully vaccinated. So I do have my vaccination card with me right now, just in case they'd like to see that. I also had to get a COVID exam done this week and I had to test negative. It doesn't matter if you book the roll, if you are positive, you will be let go and they'll just rebook the roll. Tell the cookies they are not playing around with that. So make sure that when you do book a roll or when you get um, casted for something that you are very careful about social distancing and spending your time around other people because you can still miss out on your opportunity just with a positive COVID exam. At no fault of your own, you can, you will not get the job. And there's nothing that happens. You just will have to audition for another role. So, something else. Um, oh yeah, I would also advise that if you are going to get a COVID exam on your own, this client, they allowed the talent to either go to their testing site earlier this week or you could schedule your own exam i would highly suggest that if you're going to schedule your own exam through your cvs or walgreens or wherever allow additional time for your exam to come through i took my test on friday and i literally just got my results a couple of hours ago today like right before the end of my 48 hour suspense which they say they normally get the results to you no more than 48 hours but with a lot of people doing COVID tests right now they're saying that it can take more than the two two days it's now three days is the norm and it can take even longer than that so just something to keep in mind um here they were going to rapid test us if we didn't have our test in time but you don't want to be that person that's you know still red on the list of COVID exams that they got back, you know, so, so just keep that in mind. Another thing, um, with COVID going on, they are asking that you bring options of your own, so there's not a lot of sharing, you know, of germs, options, I mean, clothing options, so you can see I've got my clothes hanging up in the back seat over there. They asked me to bring five options and I went ahead and sent over six looks. You, you know, it doesn't hurt to have multiple options. Wardrobe normally loves multiple options. You never know, you know, they may want you in multiple scenes, blah, blah, blah. So, um, more is more in that case. You also want to make sure that all of your clothes are ironed. You don't want to come in with wrinkled clothes. They need to be on hangers. If you have a garment bag, even better, you know, just to make sure the clothing are protected. It might be raining when you get to your location, you know, just, just things to keep in mind. If you come in with wrinkly clothes or like you don't have your shoes or something like that, it's going to look very unprofessional. You're going to put the production in a bind to have to try to find your size or whatever. So make sure that you have all of the shoes, all of the accessories, bags, whatever. If you had a scarf that you sent to them and they confirm that, you need to make sure you have every single piece of your wardrobe with you. Something else that was highlighted that, you know, um, they made a special note of was for women, if, not even if, they said to bring a 
a cami to go underneath your shirt that you're wearing because it's you know been said that some of the bras the wiring the bras or even like the cut here it'll give harsh lines that come through your shirt so you want to make sure that you are gonna wear something nude as far as undergarments and that you are wearing an undershirt to make sure that everything is smooth and seamless so um, like I told you guys this is an evening shoot so I did lounge around a bit today I was not able to really sleep in like I wanted to but I still don't feel tired I feel pretty good about the shoot and um, yeah let me see if there's anything else that I wanted to talk to you guys about oh yes so um, this week I've been getting quite a few emails from the wardrobe team the COVID officer and uh, I guess um, maybe a production assistant and you want to be very very responsive to those emails that they're sending you they are waiting to give whatever information to whoever is has requested it from them so you don't want to be the last one on the list for everything you need to make sure that you are checking your emails regularly and you want to get back to them ASAP especially if it's a small production and there's not a lot of people you may be holding up a decision you may be holding up you know somebody's day if they're waiting to see if you're gonna respond in a timely fashion so just be sensitive to people's time and know that once you've booked the job that you are on and you need to make sure that you are in communication with your team you know just just be courteous don't waste anybody's time let me see la, 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 la. because of covid they are saying that we need to stay in our vehicles when we get to the location we will message uh specific contact to let them know that we are on site but you will stay in your car until it is time you know for um, getting dressed or wardrobe selection whatever so yes they are taking you know these cases and this pandemic very seriously something to also um, keep in mind um, the last little thing that I have for you I would say be prepared be prepared to get to your location before time. Things happen all the time on the road. One day I was driving and there was an 18 wheeler that was flipped over and the whole two, both the lanes were blocked off. And they were calling whoever out there to move the truck. But all the cars that were behind that truck were stuck. Unless they were gonna reverse off the road and try to find the last exit, but no one was doing that. So you want to make sure that you plan to get there early. Rule of thumb, you want to get there an hour early because if you're right on time, you're late. You're late. And I always allow myself an hour so that, let's say you do get there early. A worst case scenario, grab a snack, grab some coffee, you know, check your notifications on your phone, just chill out. There's been times where I've gotten a set early and they use you early because you're there. It's really helpful for casting for everyone to be in place when they ask you to be, if not early. Don't play around with the time. If you arrive late, you are unprofessional and you better know that casting is gonna make a note of that and it's probably gonna get back to your agent. This is gonna destroy your rapport and that relationship with that casting agent and you probably won't get selected for a job for a while you know if they think that you're not going to be reliable and timely the other thing that I was going to say was uh, bring some snacks so whenever you go on set there is normally a craft services craft services is the food they'll have snacks out there for you water you know but for me I am trying to do a protein heavy diet and there may not be options there for me I might get there and there's cheeses and water so you don't want to bank on craft services for your meals or your snacks they should provide a meal for you but even still you may not like what they're serving and then you're gonna be hungry all day 
I, I am prepared with my food and I would suggest that you bring, you know, some options. Worst case scenario, you like what they have there and you got like a road snack for your drive home. But yeah, those are just some tips so far. Um, I will be checking in with you guys again once I get on the location and let you know what further instructions I have. Okay, so bye. We made it. I've just arrived, guys. I'm here at the Harrison Teeter location. I threw in a little slip clip of that. And um, right now, I am about uh, 40 minutes ahead of schedule, which is fine for me because I can relax. I'm not rushing in to get um, further instruction. Yeah, so timing is really important. I forgot to tell you guys about an example of when I was late to set actually had um i was working background on a tyler perry set several several years ago and um i had a flat tire i was in my clothes it was for a church scene and so i was in my sunday best and i had to stop to change a tire i had roadside assistance at the time but i knew they wouldn't have made it out in enough time for me to change my tire so i ended up getting it changed and literally i was like five minutes away from the gates and they told me that I had been replaced you know I let them know ahead of time that I was getting a tire change and they said okay um you know to let them know my ETA and they still replaced me guys it's it's real out here so yeah be on time be early hey right, guys I'm about to go inside I was instructed to enter through the back door so here we go got all my clothes here this back Like I said, guys, when you get there, they should feed you. And we have a pretty good looking lunch. It's a chicken something with a salad and some tzatziki sauce. I'll show you guys when I get inside. Okay, guys. So for the first scene, I was in the meat section and I was pushing my grocery cart down the aisle. We did that a lot of times. And then the next thing that I did was in the, oh my gosh, the produce section. And I pushed my cart some more. So that's all I needed for now. So I'm going back to the holding area to chill. Okay guys, so I am leaving Harris and Teeter now. We just wrapped. It is like, oh my gosh, like 10 o'clock here. So we had about five hour day. Not bad at all. About to get on the road and go home. TTYL, thank you for tuning in.